Think of the very first day that you played Genshin. You imagine yourself as living such an easier and more manageable life. And you may even pray to go back to those times, to the way you were as a person and to the situation you had. You may see it as amazing, as perfect even. But I promise you that you have changed more than Genshin Impact. Some people may even think the game is boring now and think that back then it was so much more enjoyable, which in a way it was, but that's not because the game changed. That's because you changed. Now this almost sounds really confusing, so just let me explain, watch until the end, like the video, and leave a comment on your thoughts. As always, keep it constructive and happy. Thank you very much. I think that the root cause of all of this is a lack of challenge and the lack of feeling of accomplishment. Think of when you first started Genshin, when you first was fighting Senora, first fighting Raiden. You used all your food and all your buffs, and yet you still failed. And you do this time and time again, and over and over again until you finally beat it, and you move on to the next part of the quest, and you felt that accomplish accomplishment. You felt relieved that you were finally done. Back then, you couldn't just put down a shield and beat everything. Because when your damage was bad, the game was hard. And to me, this is why I feel like people don't like the game as much anymore. It's because you can beat anything as fast as you like now. There is no challenge. You pull out your best team, you can defeat anything. There's no feeling of accomplishment. Sure, you gain rewards for killing the enemy, but do you feel accomplished? Do you feel like what you just did was hard? Do you feel like anyone else could do that? You don't feel special for beating that. You don't feel like you put in effort. You just press a button and everything dies. To me, games need challenge, especially fighting games. If I feel like I can beat something easy, then what's the point of me doing it if I know I can accomplish it? I think this is why most people stop playing Genshin, because at a point when there's no challenge, there's no... There's nothing for you to look out for, there's nothing for you to work towards. And when there's nothing for you to work towards, you lose the feeling and want to play the game. You lose the motivation because there is no goal for you to strive for. You're just playing the game every single day, hoping for something new. You know, trying to get a character or something. But that's it. When you reach that end game point, there is no going back. Using weaker characters on purpose won't bring back that feeling. Even making a new account won't bring you back that feeling. The game needs challenge, and there is ways to accomplish that. Take for example the traveller only segments of the story, where you are given the traveller in a trial, and they have a set weapon, and a set artifact set, and you are only allowed to use that to kill an enemy or something. What I think would make the game 10 times better, as if that was utilised more against bosses. Like when the boss is actually released, let people use their own characters, but in the story at least. Make them use a set character with a set loadout, set artifacts, or even a team of set characters. Now this might sound stupid from an outside point of view, but to me, I feel like this would really fix like every single issue with the game concerning a lack of challenge. Because if that was the case, then everyone would be on the same field, everyone would be the same. If that was the case, then people will all have the same challenge. There won't be someone who's got a stronger team or a bigger chance of winning. It will always be everyone fighting the same thing at the same odds and if they make the game more reliant on dashing and dodging and actually like you know if they make the game more based on actually like dodging attacks fighting back you know like performing special moves like i feel like that is the key to improving genshin in a story perspective take elden ring it is fun because it is hard it has got a good story and it is hard genshin has got a good story but it is not hard once you have a good set of characters you will clear any content in the entire game i'm not saying make genshin only have the traveler because obviously that's not going to work genshin is a gacha game it makes money of getting characters but i don't see what's stopping the creators to make segments where the traveler is the only one that's allowed to be used or like at least a trial character with a set loadout let's put this into perspective let's say there is a segment of four characters that are all playable in the same cutscene and in the fight breaks out where a boss comes what would make the game more immersive and better is is if the only team that you could use was those four and it wasn't your builds of those characters it was a set build given to you and chosen by the creators this would make the game more difficult and it would allow people who don't own those characters to get a feel for them better in like different scenarios i would feel 300 times more rewarded by killing a boss with a set team than my own hotel team and I don't think there's anyone who disagrees with me. If you ultimately use a worse team and you're forced to use that worse team, you will feel so much better than if you just use your overpowered team that clears 36 star abyss every single time. Now, you may look at me and say that I'm stupid and it will ruin sales for characters in the game if there is less time where you get to use your own characters, but in my opinion, that's quite the opposite. If you're doing a quest and you have access to free playing time of a specific character to test them out with a specific build, 
then you can get adapted to their play so you can see how they're played and you might just like them and then you'll pull for them and improving the gameplay like that will have such a bigger and more positive impact than if 10 less people buy. I think this would lead very potent results and overall would make Genshin a hundred times better game and to me it increases the replayability of the game because now just because you've got a strong character doesn't mean you'll clear everything easy. You'll still need to learn new strategies to dodge new characters and you know find weaknesses and stuff like that. It seems really complex and really like ambitious for the game to add but with a few tweaks and updates I think it could be really really be possible without making Genji seem like a completely different game. I'm not saying introduce Elden Ring difficulty level bosses because that's stupid. Genji is not meant to be this extremely difficult game but I don't think it should be extremely easy as well. You shouldn't be able to beat a boss the first time you do it right. That's silly. It's a boss for a reason. I don't think in any way shape or form you should be able to beat a boss on the first try in any game unless you're extremely lucky. But I see what Genshin is doing now with making enemies stronger and I really see it working because sometimes when I'm fighting like 3 million HP enemies my shield breaks instantly and I die instantly because I don't dodge. I still don't think this is going in the right direction because you can only find these enemies in the open world and you still only use your own characters so you still need crazy overpowered characters to kill them and that's why from other people it would be 10 times easier than people like myself who've got average you know C0 R1 builds. As stupid as it seems Genshin could even add like a quest difficulty and the better difficulty you complete the more rewards you'll get. There won't be a massive difference obviously the easiest difficulty will have a big difference from the hardest but the hardest difficulty will have significantly better rewards so it just pushes the player to just do that extra more bit you know get better push for something because when you complete that and you get those rewards you feel accomplished obviously they couldn't implement this for older quests because of like technical issues and all that it would be really complicated to try balance the rewards out and if you can't replay the quests on the harder difficulty then it may cause a bit of an issue so i see why a difficulty thing wouldn't really work but i still don't see how but my other point still shines with trial characters and the traveler especially my mindset is why do something easy when you can do something hard and I really think making Genshin just more skill based it will really really help. Try, I try to get better and I want to feel accomplished for doing this. I want to feel like I'm getting a reward out of this. I want to feel like I had to try to earn it and not go straight into a fight you know press E dash everyone's dead. That's boring. No one wants that. The beauty of old Genshin was the challenge. And nothing will change my mind on that. As always, please like a video and comment if you enjoyed the video. And please, please, please have a good day. Hope you will have an amazing day and night. And as always, thanks for listening to me, app. Yeah.